Okay, we've got the new version from MX5 Tech of the diagnostic reader for the Mark 1s and the Mark 2s, not the 2.5 because it's OBD2. I'll just run through these again. That was version 1. And we went into version 2, which was a lot better than version 1. And then we've gone into verse, the new version 3. Even the instructions are on nicer paper. And as you can see, it's a lot thinner, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot neater. There's more pins because it does a lot more than now. It's got Bluetooth, which is just going to be added to an app that you can do on your phone. You can update now. This is, we we think that this is the last version now because of how it can update but you never know there might be a number four which is in keeping with the mx5s so we get to the mark four so anyway i'll put it in As you can see, the first thing you notice is that it's on line with the wing, so it's facing you. Yeah, the readout is better, it's easy to use, and it just, this is for scrolling through. Pressing down accepts what you want to do. So we'll scan for fault codes. And it's picked up a fault. And there you go. This oxygen sensor is a bit faulty. So anyway, you can come out that. It's very simple to use. See, you can do your aircon. You can actually test your aircon now. Obviously, there's none in this, so we'll pass it. ABS. There's none on this car, but it's just to show you. So that's that's great for the Mark Twos. Automatics as well is now covered. You can do your tests as normal. Fuel pump. And this is for you. All your switches. Switches and sensors inside the car. So you can go through them one by one to find out what's going on. Now this is a nice bit of kit because now obviously you can test the battery. We got 12.6 volts in there, so when it's running, we can actually now see what the we can see what the alternator is doing as well as if the battery is charging. And then you've got these other two here, which is for your revs. I'll t show you through them in a second. Oxygen sensor. Now that will give you a readout while it while it's running, so you can see what's going on with your oxygen sensor. And then this is just all your settings. Mark 1, Mark 2, RX7, MX3. He's going to add more to that list as he, as he goes. Yeah, that's just language, sound, brightness, and just factory reset. Yeah. But if we kick it over, I can show you some of these working as well. So if I go on to that.
alternator is perfect. Battery's holding its charge, it's all going in nice and lovely. But then if you go into these, so this is your base holder. Okay, so that's your two, you've got your, you've got your one when it's in test mode and you've got your one when it's not. They're all live as you go. And it's telling us the oxygen sensors off. So there is a fault with it. You, you kind of get the gist of how this tool works. Very, very simple to use. It does everything you want it to do. Okay, so now we're on to the Mark II, and as you can see, it fits lovely. It's not obscured by anything. It's lovely. And you're just looking straight at it. But you must be aware, because I did miss saying it on the other one, that when you, when you come to testing the fans on the Mark II, it will not work on this because of the way it's set up. The only way to test the fans on these is by the temperature switch that's underneath the coil part. And there's a guide on Menders and showing you how to do that to test the fans. All right, you can't do it through this tool. It just, it, it's just the wire's not there, the port's not there, nothing. Okey doke. Bye.